Are you living a life of blissful ignorance, passively accepting that any base to the power of zero is equal to one? Well, not anymore, my mathematical friend. Your life is about to change because you're about to find out why. As it turns out, the answer to this question has its roots in our understanding of division and exponent laws. I want to take a look at x to the power of a over x to the power of a, and I know that this is equal to 1. I know this because, for example, if I take any number, like 4, and I divide by itself, I'm going to get 1. So, for example, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and if I divide that by itself, I get 1. More specifically, if I take x to the power of a, and I represent it in this way, x times x times x times x, a times and I divide it by itself, I know that I can cross out pairs of x's because x divided by x should be 1. And I know that from the example above. And if I do this over and over again, I'm going to end up with just 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, also known as 1. So you can see here, this requires an understanding of multiplication and division and knowing that anything over itself is equal to 1. What I want to do is take this one step further and go back to the initial problem here of x to the power of a over x to the power of a. What I can do is use my understanding of exponent laws, in particular the division law for powers of the same base, and I can say, well, x to the power of a over x to the power of a is the same as x to the power of a minus a. Now this is where it gets interesting because I think we can all agree that a minus a is zero. So what I end up with is x to the power of zero. I know that x to the power of zero is one because I've just shown you that x to the power of a over x to the power of a is equal to one for this reason. Therefore, I can conclude that any base to the power of zero is in fact one.